In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a t-shirt design for Earth Day using the app Placeit. Uh, you may have used this for mock-ups and things like that. There's a t-shirt designer in there. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use it. And we're going to come up with the Earth Day design that looks like this. So you want to stay tuned for this one. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juna with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. And in this video, I wanna show you how to create a design using Placeit. So some of you may have Placeit. I use it a lot for mock-ups. It's a great way to get your designs on real people so that it looks like uh, you know more people relate to it. I use it a lot for Instagram. Uh, super simple, you just drag your uh, design on there. If you do have Placeit, you also have access to the t-shirt designer. And I don't think this one's being used a lot, but it, it is a real easy way to create designs. They have so many different templates. I'm gonna show you on there how to do it, some of the limitations that it has and how to change things. It's not exactly like Canva, so you're gonna have to uh, change your ideas about it a little bit, but there are some really good positives of it uh, and there are some limitations. So I'll show you both of those in place it. I'm also going to show you how to take your design from concept all the way to putting it on a Merch by Amazon t-shirt. Now you can put it on any of them. I'm just going to show you Merch by Amazon in this case because of the size. Um, these sizes will work for Redbubble and TeePublic and Etsy and all of that. So I'm going to show you how to make sure that it's the right size and show you how it looks like on a Merch by Amazon t-shirt. So lots to see in this video, you're gonna stay till the end. So let's get on Placeit right now. All right, so here I am on Placeit. You can see just placeit.net. And this is the place I use a lot for mock-ups. So you, you may have seen these mock-ups like this. It's really cool if you wanna put your designs on t-shirts and then put it on Instagram. I love it for that. I use it all the time, at least three times a week because it's super easy to do. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but you can see other things that they have here, logos and things like that. This is great for Instagram posts as well as videos. They're doing Video Maker. I haven't used that yet, but I'm excited to try that out. Um, and there's lots of free stuff here, but if you already have it for mock-ups, then I would say use it for t-shirt designs too. Um, it's a great addition to it. It's not like Canva or Affinity Designer where it's actually made for designing t-shirts. I'm gonna show you some of the limitations, but if it's already there, if you already have it for this, you might as well um, use it for other things too. It's, it's all built in. So come up here to designs, go to t-shirt designs under highlights right there and just click t-shirt designs. And you can see a whole ton of t-shirt designs already. I wouldn't just take these and download it and put it on your t-shirts. It looks like you can, but everybody can do that. So you're gonna wanna change your designs to make yours original. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. So first, um, the best thing to do is to start with a topic and we're gonna start with Earth Day. So let's just type in here, Earth Day. Now you can see it has everything from like St. Patrick's Day and all this other stuff, but we're gonna do Earth Day for now. And you can see 38 results for Earth Day. And this is just the basic ones. And of course you can update it. So this is 38 starting points for Earth Day. I'll scroll down so you can see all the different things here, lots of different graphics, right, that you can use. You got 3D graphics, you got like nice hand-drawn graphics, kind of more cute graphics, some very detailed graphics too. So all of these are just starting points. You can change the text on them, the color, and move things around. So let me show you, we'll just start with this one right here. And once you do that, it's gonna say edit template. Well, let's click that. All right. So first thing let's do is change the text. So um, let's do reduce. Changing the text is different than Canva. You don't just double click on it. The text is over here on the side. So let's do um, reduce. I want it all caps. So just hold down all caps, reduce. And then you can scale it and change the colors and change the font. So let's go here and if you don't see the font that you like here, you can also change it and do more fonts. But this basically has a lot of different fonts that you can use. I like this font, let's just use it. Um, we don't need to change it. And then let's change the color, I want it white. There you go. 
And then you can size the font here just by pulling it like that. So reduce. Um, let's change this picture out. I'm going to move it down and change it later. But I'm going to do reduce, reuse, recycle. All right, so reuse. Let me just show you how to add another text. And the reason for that, it's when you add another text, you get this extra thing and you'll see right here. So you see that there's a box around it. You can change the color of that box, which I'm going to use as a graphic element. So let's just type in reuse. And I want to use the same font as this one. So this one is too small to read what it's called, but I can star it here. So you can see I'm going to star that font and I'll go back out. And then when I use this one, I'll go to my saved and there it is right there. So you can star these. And now that Earth Day should be using that same font. I mean, that reuse should be using that same font now. So let's do reuse like that and make it bigger. Great. And then this one, we're going to change the font as well. There. And then we're going to do this recycle. Great. Did it change it? It didn't change it. There. All right. So we got our text that's different than what we started with. Let's change the graphic to make it different than we started with. We can just delete this. There's no undo Z. So once you delete it, you're deleting it. If I hit undo Z, you're going to see it didn't put the picture back. So be very careful when you delete something, but we can get it back. It was already here like this. You can only have one design on this side. You can add more graphics over here, but the designs are right here. Let's look for um, Earth Day, more Earth Day stuff. Oh, I got to spell it right. All right, so let's use, I really like this one. So instead of this one, we're going to click this earth with the leaves and plants right here. I'm just going to click on it. You can see it replaced it. So you can only have one, one of these designs at a time. And I'm going to get rid of this Earth Day. It's going to take up too much room. Let's click on this and then move it. Make it as big as you want. And I want it like that. Just real simple design. You can make it as complex as you want. But you can see it has this guides here to kind of center it. So let's center it. All right. And when you got it to the right spot, maybe you want to change the color of this background I do I want to match this color here so you can do that let me show you click here the text background is what we had and then hit more for colors you'll get this eyedropper right here click on the eyedropper and maybe you want it the same color as this boom right or this boom so either way I think I think that one I like that one better now you can preview the colors of the t-shirt by changing the background color up here. Let's get out of this. So right now we have it defaulted at green, but most of the time we want it on a black t-shirt. So let's look what it would look like on a black. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right. So that's it. It's real simple design here. The next thing you're going to do is want to download this. So now that we're done, let's download it. This button right here is the download button. We're going to click it. One thing I forgot is we don't want the background. So let's change this again. Change the background to no background, right? Because we don't want the background on our Merch by Amazon design. So take out the background, download this again. Once you're finished with your downloads, you're going to see this right here, the crop tool. So let's click on that. And this is the image cropper tool built in to place it. So by default, it's not going to save you save the right size, but you can change it right here. So you can see by default, it's 4000 by 4800. That's too small for Merch by Amazon, at least right now. So let's do 4800 by 5400. The Merch by Amazon size. And you can see right there. So we can move this slider up and down now. So to make sure that it's right. Now, I wouldn't suggest to go all the way edge to edge. Just make it how you would fit it on your Merch by Amazon size. So I kind of want it just a little bit bigger. Yeah, right there. So this right here, this box, 
Um, this margin right here is not it. This is the this is the size right here. This clear part. This is just a margin so that you can see you're going outside of it. So um, make sure that you leave some space at the top and at the bottom. That's what I would do. And then I think it centers it for you. You can kind of feel it when it centers it. And then do that. Sorry, this should have been 4,500. You can easily change that. There you go. 4,500 by 5,400. I almost downloaded it at the wrong size. So 4,500 by 5,400. Now we're gonna download it. Make sure that it's the right size again. Yeah, I think that's, that's gonna work for me. Maybe a little bigger. Okay, so now that you got it the right size, 4,500 by 5,400, hit download and we're gonna bring it into Merch by Amazon. So before I show you on Merch by Amazon, I wanna bring it up here. I just clicked on it. This is the preview. You can see the background was knocked out. And if you do a command I, if you're on a Mac, you can see that this was 4,500 by 5,400, the dimensions right here. So it's just the right size. Let's see how it looks like on Merch by Amazon products. So I'm gonna click on here and get my PNG and we'll see how it looks like. So you can see it came out perfect. It's just the right size and I can change the colors because it's knocked out. We took out that color and let's just pick colors that look great. I think a lot of these colors are gonna look great here. You can optimize it for a white t-shirt or a dark t-shirt. We did it for dark, so navy's gonna do well. You know, royal blue, red's gonna do well. Purple, brown, dark heather. I like the dark heather and heather blue. I think those two are gonna be really well, do, do really well. Now you can only pick 10 colors. You don't have to pick 10 colors, but pick 10 that look they look good on. I actually think olive instead of red, so Think of some of those earth colors, I think for Earth Day would do really well. Greens and probably don't need purple. Blue, of course, for the sky. So greens and blues and browns and blacks. You know, uh, this gray right here works well too with the colors. So have fun with this. You can see very easy to do. You had some limitations on that. Like um, there are no move to front, move to back things on Playset. Um, it's hard to color different things, so you, you can't really color any of the graphics, but if you already have place it for mockups and things like that, I think it's a great thing to have. Uh, if you don't have it already, I have a link in the description to, to place it, but um, again, something already there that you can use, just another way, just more graphics that you can use um, besides the ones that you already have with Canva and things like that. So, and one, and another good thing is it knocks out the background for you on this one. So you don't have to go in and do some other separate thing. You can make sure that it's the right size and has no background. So some pluses there with the place of t-shirt designer. So that is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you to know how to design and place it. I don't think very many people use it. I hope more and more people use it, especially if you already have it. If you don't have place it and you wanna check it out, I have a link in the description to place it. Uh, you can see how it works. There's a lot of free stuff on there as well. So you can really try it out for free. Um, I would try out the mock-up stuff first. Those are really easy. There's some free mock-ups. If you already have your design, you just have to size it to the right size and throw it up on t-shirts and it just looks really cool. Very easy to do, which would be kind of hard to do in Photoshop sometimes, um, but they make it super easy to do. So love place it for that. And if you already have it, the t-shirt designer is just a nice plus. So the question of the day is this, have you used Placeit's t-shirt designer before? Let me know in the comments, or if you even have Placeit at all, let me know in the comments and how, how much you like it and if you used it. And if you got some sales from it, that would be really cool. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna see more design tutorials, click on these videos right here. And as always guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.